Mm. That was disgusting and delicious all at the same time. <laughs> What's up? It's me, Audra. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy, you like beauty, you like horror, and a little bit of commentary thrown in between, then I suggest you go on ahead and subscribe for the low, low price of zero, zero dollars. I will tell you a ghost story sent in by you. Today's ghost story he was five feet fuck all, shallow I know, but he actually turned out to be a dickhead too. You know, there's something to be said about that. Uh, I have dated people that are shorter than me. Uh, men unquestionably tend to be the ones who have the bigger problem with it. It's weird and I don't get it. Like women, women don't get bothered by it. I, I don't know if it's just a heteronormative thing, but also like that's why I won't like date men if they're short because they're gonna argue about the whole thing. And I'm like, you can't wear heels. And I'm like, Ugh. Anyway, here are my socials. I love connecting with y'all. I'm having so much fun. Although please be aware that there are times where I, I slip into a small anxiety depressed ball and then I just sleep for long periods of time, and then I forget that I posted things, which I just recently realized I did. But when I come back around, I do say hello and heart everything. And also, you know, Instagram has some fantastic stories. Twitter is a whole ass mess, but it's my mess. All right, what are we here with today, Audra? Well, obviously my face is bare, which means <laughs> we're gonna get ready. Cause actually it's been a little bit since I put some makeup on my face. For those of you who do not know, I had an allergic reaction to some skincare, which we'll be talking about at the end of the month. But uh, it messed up my eyes. Nice. Pretty, pretty, it was a pretty rough going time and I couldn't really put any makeup on it. So we're gonna put some makeup on, we're gonna chat about uh, uh, some things. And in a roundabout way, uh, one of y'all on Twitter, I think it was Tia, I'm not positive, I hope that it was, but I'll double check and I'll put it right here on whoever actually said it, um, had asked like what are some assumptions that we have about subscribers. So in a roundabout way, I'm going to kind of talk about that a little bit, but also I'm just going to talk about some stuff whilst I put some makeups on my face. Okay. All right. All right. So first I'm going to go in with the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Cypher sensitive skin. I actually really do like this primer. It's very nice. It's very like hydrating. I know that there are people who are like, I don't believe in a face primer. And Moisturizer is just fine. I just, you know, I like it. I don't feel like it's necessarily making my makeup stick in any particular way, but I am gonna say, if I'm honest, I personally find that my base being prepped like this helps since I do my eyes first. That's the thing, is like it's easier for me to remove other makeup, like the eyeshadow, the, all the fallout. So that's why I don't care about fallout when I'm doing a get ready. So, Here's a fun thing. I was on, I was not on, but I was watching Jen Love's live stream and this question's always coming up, but I just have this assumption that a lot of subscribers don't understand the, the weird amount of demands that they put on beauty content creators. And this isn't like, like I hope people don't take this as complaining, but I just don't think that people understand the amount of weird ass demands that they put on content creators. Like basically in order for me to be a perfect beauty content creator, I must first uh, never ever have any sponsorships, no sponsorships, because like, it's rude. Like, oh, one and two is okay, but more than that. And it's like, but there's like 30 to 31 days in a month, so. Okay, but fine, I got you. No, I should not do any sponsored content. I should also be buying every last ounce of my makeup. Like I should never get anything in PR because if I get it in PR, it means that I am lying to keep getting PR and obviously untrustworthy. So I can't do that. Then, I also must not have any opinions on what's happening in the world. I just need to shut up and do makeup. Uh, what else? Oh, no ads, absolutely no ads. Like no ads in the videos because that's greedy. Uh, 
and you know but like it's okay if you have a few ads but not like too many and I don't know what too many is so I'm gonna address each one of those and that may be all I have time for in this video maybe I'll do like more more of these but the first one is sponsorships so I don't think that people understand that a sponsored video is actually really good like it's actually really good for people like if somebody has sponsored content, it's actually better for you as the subscriber because one, you can choose to either put less ads or no ads in your video because you're like this, especially depending on what the sponsorship looks like. I don't like this brush and mistakes were made. I hate this brush so much. Like I like it for other things, but not for this. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry, but like, for instance, people who do certain content like um, Spooky Rice is one of them, uh, Ryan Hollinger is another one, uh, I believe Slumber Reads is another one. Like they do sponsored content because it is easier for them to put out the content that they want and not worry about monetization. They can just put out exactly what they want to put out and like literally never have to stress about whether or not their video is gonna be monetized. Like they, they've gotten paid for it, they can put out the content that they want to put out and it's very, like they're very happy for that. I'm gonna use this weird ass fluffy brush because I have a bit of a plan. Am I? No, I'm not. But it allows them to be able to put out the content that they want. If they want to put out a video talking about horror and gore, they can do so and it doesn't affect their channel. They can continue creating really high quality content without worrying about the ads and worrying about if they're gonna get monetized or not. So that's the thing about sponsored content is it does allow your favorite creators, in whatever realm, it allows your favorite creators to have the ability to do what the hell they wanna do and not stress so much on what everybody else wants. All right, y'all, I have been really digging my Royal Langa Nickel. I, I say it once and then that's it. But I've really been digging these brushes. Oh my gosh, I turned it the wrong way. But I've really been digging these brushes so much. This is the BX80 from the Revolution line. I just love them. Also, I'm gonna be using the shades I picked up from Dandelion Cosmetics because I said I was gonna give y'all a look with it and I am, like actually see me put it on. I might bring you in a little bit closer. I don't know how close you want to be to my face whenever I do these things. I can never make a good determination. So we're gonna come in slightly closer. Also, if you want to do your makeup as well, you're more than welcome. So yeah, sponsorships are actually very, very helpful because they really do allow people to create the exact content that they want to make and not worry about it. Uh, when it comes to ads, so this is a very interesting thing because I equate this First of all, a lot to streaming services, all the rest of the streaming services that are out there. I think that if you don't want ads, like you do need to get YouTube Premium. I have YouTube Premium. And I'm not saying like, oh, everybody who's broke, like, you know, you obviously know if you can or cannot afford that, that's fine. I'm not saying you have to. But I am gonna say it's a lot like cable television, right? You got cable television and you watch NBC and you're watching Friends or whatever. And you all know when you go back and watch these shows, like legitimately when you go back and watch these shows on uh, Netflix and whatnot, you end up finding how short a lot of these shows really are. Like it was a 30 minute show and yet when you go watch it on Netflix, you end up finding out that it's only like 23 minutes. So you begin to realize, oh wow, it's not really 30 minutes. I mean, when you knew that, we all subconsciously knew that, but like we didn't actually know it because we never had to see the show sans the ads. So once you see it without the ads, you start realizing like, oh wow, it's actually pretty, pretty freaking short. But we never really complained. And I think a lot of these complaints only came when we started streaming services. And the idea that people are making money off of YouTube started somehow getting on people's nerves, which I don't know why, how anybody makes money could bother you. Cause it's like literally not your life, you know? Um, <laughs> like it's, it's literally not your life. So I just don't understand. Like it, it, it does not affect me one way or the other, how another creator makes their money. Like if they're on YouTube and that's how they make it, great. If they're not, like, okay. But it's really literally none of my business. Like it doesn't even matter to me. Like even creators I don't like or vibe with, it's not my business if they're still making money on YouTube or not. Do you know what I mean? I always get like one eye that does one thing and another eye that does the other. We'll see what happens. 
So like that's a whole ass mood, right? That people in inherently have it in their minds that like, oh, you shouldn't be making money off of YouTube. And it's free content. So it's like when I stream, and I'm gonna just give you an example, like I stream, I have streaming services, right? I also have like IMDB, I will, I'll watch IMDB, IMDB streaming, and it's free, but there's commercials in it. Tubi's free, but there's commercials in it. I don't care, it's free. Like to me, I just go, okay, well now I can go pee. Like that's, Honestly, how I look at it, I'm like, well, this is great. Now I can go pee pee while they're doing this, and I'm fucking down for that. I'm down for being able to take a pee, pee break, and not have to worry about it. I'm just gonna hit some NYX glitter glue. So I, I think I'm gonna turn myself into like a, like a pumpkin, pumpkinish. We'll see. Most importantly, for smaller channels who are monetized, those ads make a difference in what makeup that they can purchase. Like it changes your purchase power. Because here's the thing, when I was working full time, which I'm hoping, you know, that I will have a job here soon because, you know, everything's expiring and I don't really wanna think about it, which is also why I've been sleeping more than usual while I job hunt. Anyway, but when I worked a full time job, just my like regular expenses came to around $2,500 a month. That's like rent, that's my car, that's taking care of Bo, that's food, that's gas, you know, that's lunch at work, that's electricity, all of that shit, right? So that's my, like, the, that's the, my income there going there and then like the demands that people have of like you buying all of these palettes and buying all of this makeup that you know frankly not everybody's gonna try I ain't mad at people not trying it sometimes you just want to watch a review on it i do it all the time it's not a big deal but the demands of like oh are you gonna get this new pat mcgrath palette it's a 125 twenty dollar palette like girl are you gonna send it to me but and we don't ask that either. We're not like, oh, send us these things. We'll buy them. Because I think people forget we did create these channels for ourselves because this is a hobby. We like playing with makeup. Makeup is super fun. I enjoy makeup greatly. I have so much freaking fracking fun with it. It should be illegal, but it's not, and I'm glad. Realistically speaking, if you're thinking about that in terms of that, like that is what that AdSense goes for, for a lot of us. When we are saying it goes back into the channel, that's exactly what that AdSense is for. Like it helps you to be able to make some additional purchases and kind of cuts down on you having to choose between one or the other. Like you're like, okay, well now I can actually, you know, buy this and this and it's gonna be like awesome, awesome. Whereas previously it was just like, well, I'm just gonna get this because I really can't afford to do both because you know, I have to eat food at some point in time, right? Right, okay. So that being the case, you're legitimately asking people to, you know, take something that they have as a hobby and then you also have demands on what you want to see and also as somebody who's trying to grow their channel, they want to make sure that they're like, you know, and I do too, want to make sure that I'm providing content that makes you happy as well. Like, it, yes, it's about me, but it's also about y'all. Like, I want you to enjoy the content. I want you to have fun. I want you to be like, ooh, yay, she got this or whatever and purchase that, but great. But we do need the AdSense to be able to do that, especially when it comes to the idea that we should be purchasing everything ourselves in order to be trustworthy for reviews. So I think that that's another thing, is in order to be trustworthy for reviews, we suddenly have to be purchasing all the makeups all by ourselves. Like, you can't be getting anything in PR because, girl, if you're getting it in PR, then obviously you're lying. And you're like... And you're just like, okay, so you have to struggle with even getting stuff in PR and figuring out the proper way to talk about it because you don't want people to feel like you're a liar even though you are not a liar, but you don't want people to feel like you're a liar. And then on top of all of that, you want people to feel like you're trustworthy even though you felt like you've been proving that you're trustworthy this entire time but it, i guess for some people it's not enough like the way that you're proving your trustworthiness isn't enough so like if your expectations of a creator of any on any platform not just beauty if your expectations of a creator on any platform is that they buy everything themselves then you're gonna have to realize that you may stuff have to suffer through ads and if you don't want to suffer through ads then yeah you can most certainly get YouTube premium uh, if you can afford to do so 
which is awesome. Great, do that. But if you can't, just view it like you would watching television if you just had the rabbit ears, you know what I mean? Like, yes, you can watch the, these shows, but you're gonna have to like have commercials. And those commercials, to me, to me, not everyone, but to me, are how I, I like I look at those commercials and in my mind I'm like, excellent. I'm gonna go pee or I'm gonna grab a snack or sometimes in my case, an entire bottle of wine. We're not gonna talk about it right now. You, oof. Come on in. Look at that. You know what? Yo, I'm just gonna say it. Dandelion fucking slaps. These shades, these shimmers are fucking popping. They're gorgeous. Oh my goddess. Like, y'all. Like, let's not pay attention to my uneven eyes. We're just really gonna be paying attention to, like, how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm normally not one to say, go get this, but like, if you are in the market for new single shadows and you have not tried this yet and you have the funds to do so, go get this. All right, I'm gonna fuck with this Hourglass concealer because I likes it a lot, it's quite lovely, but I'm gonna use a little bit of it in in conjunction with maybe my Beck in there. I'm just gonna use this one. We're just gonna do this, okay. But the thing is, I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna use another one too. Just don't, don't talk to me right now while I'm making mistakes in my life. We're gonna leave it alone. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm using my Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear. This one's a really light shade. Uh, one, because it looked darker in the photos, but two, I was also lighter when I bought this, y'all. Cause you know, that the whole pandemic started like <laughs> in March where they really started being like, y'all need to stay the hell inside. And I was like, um, but it's been, it's been winter. I've turned yellow, thank you. But in conjunction with that is this fallacy idea that just because creators purchase their makeup, that they are somehow more trustworthy. And it's a weird thing because there are creators who are literally purchasing makeup because they want to get on a PR list. So it doesn't mean that they're being honest about their review. Do you know what I mean? Like they could literally be lying to you. And the reason that they're lying is because they want to get on a PR list. So they are very carefully constructing like how they talk about your product, a product, or especially if they're going to talk about sometimes, and I'm not saying everybody who does this, so do not come for me being like, so you're telling me that everybody who talks about luxury items is a liar? Like, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there are plenty of people out there who realize that like, it is financially constrictive if you don't get some PR or if you don't, if you're actually out there trying to purchase everything, you know, it is financially constrictive. They realize that. And so some of these folks will literally go out, buy this shit and give it like glowing reviews, even if they hate it, keep that in mind, even if they hate it because they want to get on a PR list. And you know what? If they're successful, they're successful. But it doesn't change the fact that they still don't like the products and it doesn't change the fact that they still been lying this whole time. Like they, they really did that to get what they needed and they haven't changed that. That's like not a new idea. That's been going around. Like that's not people, you know, being super honest. There's literally people out there right now as we speak. I'm not going to name any channel names because one, that's rude as fuck. And it's and uh, that that's also a, a thought on my end, not a fact. It's just something I felt watching somebody's channel, which is why I don't watch them anymore. There's like, there are creators around that I just, I was watching and I'm like, mm, I'm not going to watch them because it feels like... I know they bought this, but like there's something, there's something off about this review because especially if you go watch several reviews and very few people have issue and you're just like, why does, why is this like the one person who loves every single thing that this brand comes out with? And you have to start asking yourself a question about that. Like why, why exactly do they love it? Do they actually love it? Am I getting, am I getting bamboozled here? I don't know. I'm going to have to find out though. 
even nuttier is how many people don't realize that like people could have been being honest before and are no longer being honest because once they got PR, they stopped being honest. The, the getting, the receiving of PR doesn't suddenly make somebody less trustworthy, right? And it doesn't mean that like they don't have any morals anymore and it doesn't mean that oh my gosh they're so big now they don't give a shit about anybody uh, i think this week we are going to be doing the becca skin love weightless blur foundation i think we're going to use this this week for those of y'all that don't know what i like to do is uh and I've just recently started doing is i have actually just started going through and choosing products for the most part with the exception of my eyes uh in choosing products and deciding that that's what i'm going to use especially when it comes to like my base products just do, using those all week that's it that's it so if you are ever wondering like what does she have on it's in the description box to help you <sighs> Some of them are affiliate links, by the way, and I do earn a small commission from those affiliate links, and it does go back into the channel. But if you're uncomfortable, you do not have to shop that way because I'm not that bitch. All right. Uh, so I think that the idea of like trusting someone more because like, oh, they don't get PR, that's not that's not exactly it and also you don't know how many of these people get PR and, and it, like it is PR and they don't necessarily say that it's PR because that's a thing as well people will be out here lying and playing games like and I get it like to a degree I get why some people do that because they get worried that especially seeing the amount of like irritation and hatred people have towards people getting PR or people getting paid doing YouTube, it's like, well, I just don't even wanna say anything. And then by the time they do say it, they're usually saying it in like a get ready with me or somewhere where it's not like a big deal, right? Like brand collabs obviously are different. Um, and then like, there's gonna be, I would say a, a big difference in a um, influencer collab as well. Like nobody really minds saying that they got that in PR, but like, Realistically, there is a bit of a like, <gasps> to saying it. So let's see, we've gone through several of the things. We went through, uh, oh, opinions. That's the next one. Whoo, frightening a bitch. All right, this week for bronzer, I'm going to probably be alternating in between these two Primate Beauty ones. One is a Chocolate Liddy, and then the other one is a Bronzeville. Uh, they're their bronzers. Ah, I love them so much. I love them so much. Like, mm, mm, mm. Thank you again, Keisha. You were right. Um, what was the thing I was going to say? I literally don't remember what I was saying. I forgot what I was talking about, y'all. Oh yeah, no thoughts and opinions. There we go, I did it. Yay! But like, the thing is, like, I'm a human being. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally not a robot, you know what I mean? And none of us are. So like, the world affects us. What's happening in the world affects us. It affects like, all of our livelihoods. Like, we don't just do, a lot of us don't just do YouTube. If I could just do YouTube, this is what I would be doing. Because for the most part, when it comes to like my physical and mental health, this is significantly better for me um, because I, there's a lot of things in a professional workplace that I have to put up with that I don't like having to do and it's not the work, no. For instance, here's an opinion. It's the microaggressions that I don't wanna put up with in the workplace that I have to, I'm forced to, because otherwise I'm seen as difficult and then pushed out of my job. So we're, these are things that affect us in our daily lives, right? Like what people do in their daily lives is something that affects them, whether it be political or social or whatever, it's literally affecting their life, it's affecting how they're feeling. And a lot of us feel, especially if we've been absent from our channel for a while, for instance, and we didn't say we were going on vacation. We're like, well, I need to tell people like where the hell I went, you know, like, or what's happening or why I haven't filmed in a while. Like I need to be able to explain this to folk, like 
nobody wants to just turn around and be like, where did she, where did Audra go for a week? Like, is she okay? Like, <laughs> if I just suddenly wasn't on any of my social media platforms for an entire week, came back, made a video, said nothing about that, and told you nothing about what happened, because it could be deemed as political or too social, uh, too personal, that would be weird though, right? Like if any creator did that, but like if I left for a week, I wasn't on Instagram, I wasn't on Twitter, and I didn't have any videos uploaded and I didn't say a thing. And then I came back and I was just like, hi loves, what's up, it's me Audrey. And y'all are like, you okay? And I don't even answer it. And I don't answer it because what it is is stuff people just ne necessarily don't wanna hear about. Like people are like, I don't wanna hear about you experiencing racism. Okay, then I won't talk about it, which means I, there's a lot of things that I can't talk about, which means I just literally leave and then I come back and I'm like, you know, that would be weird. I think it would be weird for all of us because like, unlike movies and television, like these are our actual lives. Like a lot of us are sitting here putting like our actual lives, whatever we feel comfortable sharing. All right, I went and did my eyebrows in peace because listen, the stress, the stress. Sometimes like my, your eyebrows do exactly what you want them to do. And then other days your eyebrows are like, I hate you so much and it sucks. I guess I'm out here in these streets just like running my mouth like this because it's like interesting because I, and I, here's the thing. I don't think y'all are like this because I know y'all, but I see this a lot in like in passing on Twitter, like people have these comments where they're like, well, I just wish da 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 da, and I just wish, and like the thing of it is, it's just a weird mentality to have about someone's job. Like if you, if this was my full-time job, it's a weird mentality to have that like, I really shouldn't make any money from it. <laughs> or specifically, I shouldn't make money from it in a way that somehow irritates or bothers you, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm sorry that the way that I'm earning money irritates you. Cause like, I don't feel like that about your job. Like, I'm not like, oh, I hate that you work in an office or I hate that you're a lawyer doing lawyer things or like, yeah, lawyer things. Or I'm annoyed that you're a nurse out there like saving lives. Like, it's just annoying. Like, can you stop doing that? Like, ugh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> Like I'm literally not gonna be in these streets trying to begrudge anybody the ability to make whatever living that they wanna make. That includes OnlyFans, but that is a topic for another day. But I'm not gonna begrudge anybody for making money. Like it's not, it's, it's one, it's not my business, yeah. Ooh, I kinda like the way that I connected that. Ooh, I kinda do like it, wait, hold on. I hate the way I be blinking and fucking up my whole look, like y'all. I kind of look like a vampire, which, what? Like this is, what's happened here? Kind of dig it. I'm gonna go out sucking blood, I guess. So yeah, it's just like a weird concept where I see people saying that and I just, I'm like asking people all the time, like how do you think that people are able to do things like afford the makeup that you want to see like how do you think that people are able to do that you know part of that is being able to get those sponsorships the other part of it is having ads on their video the other part of it is getting PR so all of those things factor into your favorite creators no matter what platform they're on being able to provide better content and it's not just better content and by that I mean being able to provide content that you want to see like if you watch a gamer channel and you want them to be able to do XYZ guess what it helps them So basically, if you have favorite creators and no matter what realm they're in, the cool thing about them getting any of these things it, that you get to enjoy as well is because of, not in spite of. Do you know what I mean? Like because they had sponsorships is like the reason that they were able to create the content that they were able to create. It's because like, if you watch a gamer channel, it, it made it easier for them to buy XYZ games and also perhaps the system that you were waiting on, it was made it easier for them to get the new system. Like if some people have the new PS5 and they get it like, bam, no problem. It's because of y'all, like you make this possible. 
And for me, I think the best realization I had, especially when I did become monetized, like as a creator, to just cut, like I had it in my head where I was like, you know what? Here's my reality of the situation is like, first of all, like I don't know. Like at the time I was like, I don't really know what it's like. But once I started doing this, I was like, oh, I get now. I get it now. I get it. I get it. Why you, why you be doing this? I get it now. And at first I didn't get it. I was just like, Ugh. but now I'll happily watch everybody's like sponsored as content, uh, especially my favorite creators. I'll watch your sponsored content. I will watch your PR videos. I'll watch all that shit because one, I love to see my friends succeed. I love that shit. That like, that's, that's my next level shit right there. When I'm like, oh yes, bitch, my friends are succeeding. Hell yeah. And then even other creators that I respect that they're like, not like my personal friend. I'm like, hell yes, you are succeeding. Get it, go and get it. I'm so proud of you. It never occurs to me to be like mad, jealous, upset. It's like, cause to me, I just, I don't see the point. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't, I don't see the point in all that kind of behavior. Mm, that's the wrong brush. Girl, you almost ruined the whole look. I kind of like it like this, but you know what? We're gonna just come in here and we're gonna just do it a tappity tappity. Right there, like that. Just whatever's left on the brush. Tappity tappity. Just a little tappity tappity. Turn the brush, tappity tappity. Yes. Y'all, I don't normally say this, but this eye look is fucking fire, okay? It really is. It, when, I, I'm gonna bring you in. I promise, I'm gonna bring you in. It's gonna be a good time. We're just gonna spend the rest of this time putting on the rest of these makeups, and then we'll come back to the, the final conclusion, which is nothing, really. I think I have concluded it. It's great to have, I, we, we'll, no, we'll have conclusions. We'll, we'll have conclusions. Yeah. Right, I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and I hope that I didn't piss y'all off because like that was never my intention. I just wanted to bring to light this this thing and I think that I'm gonna start bringing up more of these like different subscriber um, ideas that I think that a lot of people have and either point out that they're true or they're unrealistic. Like in this case, it's unrealistic for somebody to purchase every ounce of makeup, never have a sponsorship, never get PR, and never have ads in their video, and also have zero personality. Unless they're independently wealthy, but they're still gonna have a personality. And so a reality has to be you choose who you want to watch. You end up making those choices and you look at somebody and you say to yourself, do I like them? Do they fit my aesthetic? Do they fit the kind of shit I'm into? And if they don't, then watch somebody else. It's so easy. I hope you don't do that with me though because like, that would kind of hurt my feelings. Maybe. Do I have feelings? All right, huge shout out to my patrons yeah you patrons y'all have been so patient with me this has been a rougher month than usual i promise i'm gonna get back to some actual business and less lens clips so i thank all of you for sticking around and everybody please remember it costs zero dollars to be kind zero dollars to be kind and it's so good for your soul and you really want to make sure your soul is as good as it can possibly be because otherwise i'm coming for it and you don't want that until next time be safe be kind and until next time no okay i'm done <laughs> am i though because oh, okay i'm gonna have to pop in listen listen future me is gonna pop in here and continue the old thought <laughs> Ooh, bitch i'm feeling evil as fuck and I love it. For the low, low price of zero, zero dollars, I am going to tell you a ghost story. And you know what else I did today? Again, I forgot my fucking phone. How you like that? Da, 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 da. I love this look. You know? You know? Look at you, then look at me. Look at you, then look at me. Look at you, then look at me. 
you know what? Life is just one of those things where you're just like, oops, mistakes were made, and you just have to keep moving. <laughs> I just like doing a little bronze and no blush, a little bronze and no blush to make me just <laughs> Probably like staring me right in my fucking face, because it is staring me in my face. So annoying. What is wrong with me? <laughs>